you guys will find that as newlyweds, you will get all kinds of advice. Some of it's good. People will tell you about things they've learned about conflict resolution or communication or looking out for the good of the other person. Some of the advice, not so good. Tonight that advice will come after the bar is open and there's four or five drinks and people. But whatever you do, your Savior has not advice for you so much as he has a call to arms, a call to purpose. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, he records Jesus as saying, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you as well. When you pursue his kingdom, the marriage between the two of you will become unbreakable. It will be stronger than you could have ever imagined. Not because there won't be hard times, there will be. But in spite of the hard times, because of the hard times, Jenny and I used to stay up late and dream about our future husbands. Right up in that little room, before my mom tucked us into bed every night, she said a prayer that they were out there somewhere being loved, learning about our Lord, and well taken care of. Well, Mom, all of those prayers work because today Jensen begins her life with the most kind-hearted, wonderful, and loyal man. Colby, I couldn't have chosen anyone better for my baby sister. You're kind, patient, and just the right amount of crazy to fit our family. Most importantly, you love my sister for who she is, and watching your relationship grow over the years has been so special to witness. I wish you both the best for the future, and I know you're going to have some unforgettable adventures together. On behalf of my wife Tracy and I, we would like to thank everyone for coming out and joining us in the celebration. When we were out here doing the pre-wedding photos, I was fortunate enough to walk Jensen down to Colby for the first look. You know, six and a half years later, it's amazing when the two of them turned around and saw each other. It was uh, very touching. You look so beautiful. Thanks. You okay? Jordan made me cry right before this. Yeah. <laughs> Today's our day. What? Today's the day. I know. Isn't it crazy? It's amazing. Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to start by thanking you all for being here to celebrate this amazing couple. As most of you know, I am Jordan, Jensen's older, very good looking sister. Oh, oh cut out. It, it cut out right during my punchline. I said, very good looking older sister. <laughs> Thank you for the laughter. heard of Colby around the time of Jensen's senior prom. Apparently, she had some new friends she bonded with in gym class, and that included Colby. They would goof around together with a small group of friends, and I could tell she really enjoyed Colby's fun-loving spirit. Oh, yeah, Take the me me <laughs> I remember a phone call with Jensen, and she was out of sorts because she didn't have a prom date yet. And I replied, why don't you take the Rezap kid? 
I don't know if it was my advice that sealed the deal or not, but before I knew it, I was meeting Colby as Jensen's prom date. I have this super cute photo of Jenny when we were kids. My parents had gotten her this cute little wedding dress up dress. I took this photo of her curtsying right in front of the house. Fast forward 20 years and you're getting married in a real wedding gown in the same lawn and I love how that has come full circle. I have yours. It's a story. What happened? What's the story? I don't know. Well, you see, I tried to get a paw print on it, and then it didn't really work. What did it say? The note. Yeah. Basically, that you are my best friend, and that you make every day better. And every morning when I get up, that I wake up with a smile on my face because. I know that no matter what's on the agenda that day or what happened last night, that I get to send a good morning text to you and there's nothing that's more important to me than you. And then Desi was gonna sign it? Mm -hmm. She like, when I was writing it, she came up and like knocked the pen over. Oh. <laughs> so there's like a little scribble in the middle of it. Colby and Jensen, you guys have been my best friends since I can remember. I was there at the beginning when we would all go cruising after basketball games or whatever the case might have been. We all did stuff together because we had a great friendship that you couldn't have found anywhere else. I remember Colby calling me one night and telling me that you guys hung out at his place and watched a movie and my first reaction was like, dude, thanks for the invite. <laughs> And I started to realize, oh, they weren't just watching a movie as friends as the three amigos. And that was when the third wheel status officially begun. And let me just say, I rock that shit. <laughs> I love you two to death, and I am honored that I get to stand up here and give a speech to talk about you two. And today is a great day to finally be able to call these two Mr. and Mrs. Rezac. Okay. So I first want to say, Nate and Val, they busted their butts to get this place to look like it is. And it is beautiful, and can we all give them, those two, a round of applause. And then next, I want to thank my parents as well. They've dealt with me for 23 years, and that is just too much work. So if we also will, can we give them a round of applause? I want to say thank you to all the bridesmaids and all the groomsmen. What we have is special here where Jensen and I have been able to be really close friends to both sides of this table. And to me that is really special. Can we also give them a round of applause? But seriously, we thank you all for coming out, whether that it was driving all the way across the state or driving just a few miles from town. Oh yeah, and then my Uncle Jeff, who drove all the way from California. We appreciate, <laughs> or he flew, he did fly. He did fly. And it's not as impressive as Yeah, no, it's not, it's not as impressive, but. <laughs> we appreciate you all, and I do want everyone to know that if you are here, you are special in our hearts. Let's just one more round of applause for Everything. For party time. For party time.
No, no, okay. no. <laughs> we got Rezax on three. Oh, okay. One, two, three, Rezax! Woo! <laughs> What's this one?